Hey, what's up everybody? Shane R. Edwards here. Welcome back to Swift Coding for Everyone. We're going to continue on in our lesson when we're talking about navigation controllers and segues. So go ahead and open up your triggered segues project and we are going to get started. All right. So in this particular video, we're going to go over navigation controllers and a few of the different items that go along with navigation controllers like the navigation bar, and the navigation items. All right, but first I want to show you guys something straight from the book, App Development with Swift. It's on page 339 where it talks about the different types of segues. And the first type of segue is the modal segue, which is used to um, transition from one context to another. And that's usually done from bottom to top. And then the other segue is the, the push segue, and that goes from right to left to cover your whole entire screen. And so I'm just gonna illustrate that straight from the, from the, uh, from the book, App Development with Swift on page 339. I'm gonna make this large, and it's gonna go over a few of our apps. As you can see, this is the settings app, and it's gonna go over the push one first. So as you can see, it went from right to left, and then the modal is from bottom to top. All right, now in our context app, it does the same thing. Push from right to left, and then modal bottom to top. So you interact with these type of segues to where they're switching the different view controllers on a regular basis. And this is the health app, the health apps example. All right, cool. And so you may be asking yourself, what is a navigation controller? So a navigation controller basically manages a stack of different view controllers. And so this is what we're gonna do. We are going to click on our first view controller, whatever, which one that is for you. Uh, for me, it's the blue one. And I'm gonna make sure that's highlighted. And at the very top in our uh, top toolbar here at the top, we're gonna go to editor and then we're gonna to go to embed in navigation controller. All right, so as you can see, a few things happen. So our navigation controller popped up. There's nothing really you can do to this screen. Um, it just represents this, basically this bar. And so a few things happen. So we have a translucent uh, toolbar here at the top of each of our view controllers now. As you can see, there's a there's an arrow with a back button that's pointing to our initial view controller or our root view controller, which is for me, it's the blue screen. Uh, so they all have that now. And uh, there are some things that we can do with this. So we can actually add a title. So we can call this one, for me, it's the blue screen. And I wanna capitalize that. So I have blue there. You know, uh, this is the navigation item. Each UI view controller comes with a navigation item. And for this one, this was our first one. So I added blue to that. And you can change the attributes of this as well uh, if you wanted to. Uh, for, for this one, for our orange one and for our, for our purple one, we would have to add a navigation item to our our uh, view controller at the top uh, in our toolbar to actually get that same title. So over in the, the objects library, you can search for navigation item. And you can pull that up here. And as you can see, I set that in the middle and it became the title for us. And so for title, I'm just gonna change that to orange, hit enter. And then as you can see over in the purple, view controller, it went from back to purple. So if you don't have a title set, it just says back, but once you have a title set to the previous view controller, it'll change to that view controller's title. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the purple one. So I'm gonna drag one out to the middle and I'll just call this purple and hit enter. All right, there we go. Cool. You can even add a navigation button. So we got navigation item up there. Uh, we can add a we can add a button called the bar button item. You can search that in the objects library and say, for instance, if you wanted to put this here, 
and you want to change this so we can uh so i have this highlighted right now and right now it says over in the attributes inspector for this bar button item it's set to custom right now but you can go you hit the down arrow and then all the other things will pop up all the different um, titles you can change this to and you can go add edit done as you can see compose reply camera you can do all kind of things with this button and you can hook it up however you would like um so yeah that's that and then i'm just going to change this to pop so we can actually get rid of this dismiss button and we can do the same thing for this dismiss button which basically returns to the blue view controller with this dismiss button uh we can do that with the pop button here at the top and it'll do the same thing and uh it'll go back to that that starting the root view controller for us that's one thing that we can do with that button um let's see another thing you can do that's cool too is uh the titles so you can add the uh, large titles to your your toolbar so i am going to go back to the very first one and then so on the very first one which is the navigation controller there is a, an, an attribute that says prefers large titles and you can do that and it should be at the top where is it where is it prefers large titles yep it is at the top so yeah so if we check this as you can see everything got everything got big so so it's all huge now normally what you would do is you would you would enlarge your first title of of the root view controller and then the rest of them will all be small so you don't have to do that for for each and every one of them as you as you can see that uh that really enlarged but i'm going to go ahead and build and run the app at this point and we can kind of see some see some differences in our different view controls that we have here. And so another thing to note is that, like I said before, the navigation controller manages a stack of view controllers. So, so they're called a stack. And when you're adding view controllers to the root view controller, it's basically like putting it on top. So, so we call that pushing. And then when you remove them, when you hit the back button, it's called popping, like popping off. So, so pushing is adding view controllers onto this one. So I'm going into the orange, the orange VC. And before, before we added the navigation controller, this was all presented into, this was all presented with a modal type of a segue uh, or transition, but now it's gonna be a push. So now that when I hit this button, it's gonna go from right to left. As you can see, that changed, right? And we can go back to the blue. And as you can see, it did. So I'm gonna push to the orange one and then I'm gonna push to the purple one. And then if I hit this dismiss button, it'll pop the other two off and go back or the orange one off and it'll go back to the blue. All right, as you can see. So pushing and popping, all right. So, but there's just so much that you guys can do with uh, you know, the, the, the title, you know, the toolbars and the navigation controller period. So definitely do some research and, and practice on your own. But that's the end of this video. In the next video, we're gonna get into data and seeing how we can transfer data between the different view controllers. This is St. R. Edwards with Swift Coding for Everyone. Thank you guys for joining me. Y'all take care.